you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got our house rules rewards. I'm going to go over kind of how it went for me, how I recommend you guys finishing this up today, and pretty much what I plan to get here. So, this was a this was a very cool house rules, right? So, the theme diamond players is what you can get. Now, theme diamonds for me were a little iffy, right? I don't really want any. I told you guys I wasn't really a fan of the theme diamonds. Now, that wasn't because they're bad cards. It was because I like to power up cards I get, ones that I like. But I don't see these cards as long-term options. I see them as, most of them, like, Antoine Randall L probably won't get another upgrade this year. McAllister probably won't get another upgrade. The other McAllister probably won't get an upgrade. John Henderson, a lot of these guys probably won't get upgrades. So for me, it's like, I power them up to their 90. I use them for like a, a month, and that's it. They're done on my team, and I waste the coins. So I kind of like the fact they gave me a free one because that allows me to actually enjoy one of them without having to waste money on them. I, I really do enjoy how they did this house rules. It, it gave me a chance to try out other things in the game. And apparently, these players have their full quick sell value, which if true is awesome because that's how they should do it, right? I was thinking about it. House rules should always have the full quick sell for these players because realistically, it's very dumb that you can get repeats or players you don't want. You can't sell them. Like, you can't sell them for their exact price. I remember last week when we got that, we got the how, what's it called? The superstar nap player. Some people got Stefan Gilmore twice. Now, the first Gilmore was awesome. The second one you can't use not to sell him. He goes for what, 800 training? That's, that's horrible. But apparently these go for their actual amount. If that is true, which I will tell you at the end of this video, I won't stop you guys from quick selling them though. Because that is cool. So that pretty much means you can use them, use them, use them. And when you're done with them, you just quick sell them off. And you get a full training value. So let's say Michael Vick comes out and you want to power him up. And you don't want to use your auto gram that you got. You could just quick sell gram for 3,000 training and use that to power Vic all the way. I think that's awesome. It's almost like you're getting free training and a card. You get both. You get to use the card and then get the free training. I think this is one of the best things that they've done for house reward, guys. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, let me get to my quick little intro. Make sure to go down below and smack the sub button. We are at 7,100, 116, I believe. I said that twice. Subs right now. That is awesome, guys. Grinding out to 10K. You guys have been killing it with the support. I never could have imagined we'd be at over 7K. In the first three weeks of Madden, considering literally three weeks ago I had 2,000 subscribers. That is awesome, guys. So keep smashing the like button. Let's get this video to 250 likes. Like I said, if you're a loyal supporter and you watch me every day and you enjoy the vids, if you comment on the video, like the video. You guys don't understand how much likes will help my channel grow. It really lets my videos get out there. So I really appreciate it if you guys could just drop a like. Also, turn on the noti bells to get notified every time I post a brand new video. And guys, comment down below who you got from House Rules and who you expect to get. Now, if we look down, but if we look at the sets, because I'm going to tell you guys what I pretty much want in this order. Now, there's a lot of guys that I don't want, but there's also a lot of guys I do want. There's some specifically that I really will get really annoyed if I get, not to be ungrateful, but I can always sell them, right? So that's why I won't be too mad now. So like before, if I got like an auto gram, I would have been really upset, but I can quick sell him, so I'm not that upset. Also, remember, you could also use these cards to put in an exchange set. So if you get like an 89 auto gram, right, and you don't want to use auto gram, wait till next series update, there will be an exchange set for like an 89 to a 90. So you can potentially get a 90 overall full legend by just exchanging this free play. You got probably two of them. That's really not bad at all. Also, remember all these themed diamonds, excuse me, can go up to a 90 overall no matter what. You can power them up. So if you like your guy or you only get like an 87, you can get this power up card and you can power them up to a 90 using training, which isn't bad either. Obviously, some cards you'd probably rather not have powered up. Like if I get John Henderson 89 overall, I probably won't power him. I'll probably keep him as an 89 overall defensive tackle. I'd love that. If I get Darnell Dock is an 87. I might power him up. Get like a 90 overall defensive tackle. Have that for the most of the year, probably. Rock him as at least a defensive tackle, too, come later in the year. I do not mind any of those outcomes. I will take Chris McAllister, which is already an 89. Right? No, is it Chris McAllister? I think it's Chris McAllister. So there's just a lot of leeway here with what I could get and that I would really greatly enjoy. So I really don't mind the idea of me not getting, let's say, a player I don't like. If I can quick sell him for training, I could definitely use training. I could definitely, I definitely have cards. I'll save the training. I really don't mind it. Plus, you get trophies. And to be honest with you guys, trophies are huge this year. They're more huge than last year, in my opinion, because there's so much more you could do with trophies this year. Now, let's go into sets and go rank them. Kind of, not exactly rank them. Let's go over what they are and what I could potentially get. So, starting with the theme Diamond Bears, Charles Tillman. Do I want him? Yes. I will take him as a nice cornerback and to replace Byron Jones. I wouldn't mind Charles Tillman. I'd be happy with him. Bengals, Corey Dillon. Would I be happy with him? No. Will I throw him at fullback? Probably. Why use him as a backup running back? Probably. I won't be mad, but I won't entirely be happy. Bills, Andre Reed, not exactly won't be happy with him. 
Again, I don't want wide receivers because I already have a free nat, DeAndre Hopkins, and a nat, Torrey Holt. If I get another nat, I can't buy wide receivers for a while. Jason Elam. People might not like him, but I would love Jason Elam. Because first off, kickers are important, right? Field goals can make or break your game. Field goal accuracy is huge too, because a lot of times if you mess up on the field goal bar, if you have really good accuracy, they won't go wide left. Like a little bit of latency, you could be saved by a good kicking accuracy. So I would really love Jason Elam, because I will never buy an 89 overall kicker until I'm rich, rich in this game. So I would greatly appreciate a Jason Elam that I could use for most of the year. I have no problem kicker. Autogram, I'd be very upset if I got him. I have Mahomes. I could get Steve Young. I want a Vic. I do not. I will never use this autogram. So I hopefully don't get him. Joe Dravucci. These are the two guys I really don't want the most. Darnell Dockett. I'd be very happy with Darnell Dockett. Darnell Dockett would be an awesome defensive tackle. Again, a defensive tackle kicker. Positions I don't like buying. So I gladly would love that. Especially with how good my defensive line play has been this year. I can only go up from there. Sean Phillips, I would be very, very mad about because I have Von Miller and Lawrence Taylor. So he'll never get any run. Brian Waters. I'll be very happy with him. I'm very happy with Brian Waters. Left guard, 89 overall. I have no. I just sell Bruce Matthews, and I have myself a nice left guard for free. Dwight Freeney, no, no, no. No defensive, no no front seven. No, well, shouldn't say no front seven. No defensive, no defensive ends, no outside linebackers. That's all I care about. I'll take a middle linebacker. I'll take Mel Renfro. Awesome. I'll be very excited about Mel Renfro. Slot him in right there with Gilmore, Ramsey, and Gil, uh, Gilmore and Ramsey, and I'll be very happy. Take out Byron Jones. Patrick Certain, you can't even guess, so I'm not really too concerned about him. Now, Eagles, right tackle Joe Runyon, very excited about it. He'll be my best right tackle on my team. I can sell Lane Johnson. No issue with him. Jesse Tuggle, 89 overall middle linebacker. Will love him. Put him at backup. Get, uh, probably sell Bobby Wagner for now. Maybe just hold him in case there's a better Wagner this year, which there will be, obviously. Good, fast, missing middle linebacker with good stats. Merton Hanks, I won't be happy about because he's not much of an upgrade over Earl Thomas. And I'd much rather wait for like a Sean Taylor, but I'd definitely take him for the time being. I wouldn't be mad about him. Jason Seahorn, not a guy that you can even get, so not concerned about him. John Henderson would be huge. I would love a John Henderson, a solid beast in the defensive tackle spot that I could use all year, at least as a backup, and if not a third. Wayne Trebet, or Wayne Krebet, I would not be happy about it at all. I do not want wide receivers. Corey Schlesinger, I'd be I'd be so excited about. I don't know what it is. I want a big, I love Jack fullbacks. I'd gladly take him. Donald Driver would not be too excited about, although I guess I'd probably use him because he's an 89. Jordan Gross, I would love. I could sell Joe Staley, I'd have no problem with that. Rob Ninkovich, I'd be mad about. Dave Casper, I mean, I, you can't even get him, so I don't know why I'm even thinking about that. Adam Timmerman, I'd sell Larry Allen. Chris McAllister, I would love. He'd be a starting cornerback on my team. Pro I'd probably even power him up. I really like this Chris McAllister card. Clinton Portis, I'd not be happy about, but I guess I'd probably use him because as a backup over Philip Lindsay. Deuce McAllister, same thing as Lindsay. I'd use him over him. Lofa Tatupu, I don't know what his stats are, so I can't really comment on that. I don't really know. Antoine Randall L, I do not want. David Carr, nope. Keith Bullock, nope. You guys know that. And Matt Burke, I would love. So if you guys count, I'd love him. One, I don't want to count them actually. That's going to take too long. But you guys get the point. I like a lot of them. I hate a few of them. I really hope I get none of the above. So let's go open this pack, guys. Let's go do it. The ones I want the most are offensive linemen and defensive tackles. So let's go to my packs. I also have my weekend league rewards here, boys. So you know that I'll be opening this for my next video today. So stay tuned for that. Okay, let's do this. Madden Gods, do not give me Otto Graham. Do not give me Dwight Freeney. Let's open it. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm going to go through my lineup and search for it. All right, boys. You know what I got. I don't know why I feel like that was Deuce McAllister. I didn't see it, but I feel like it was. You guys know what I got. So let's start the positions. Let's start the positions we do want. Okay, center. Please tell me it was Matt Burke. It was not Matt Burke. I don't even think it was a lineman. It wasn't a lineman. Okay. Oh, God. Please don't be auto -gram. Please don't be auto -gram. Please don't be a running back. Corey Schlesinger. We got Corey Schlesinger. I saw that. I saw that. I'm hype about that. Oh, I open quarterback. I'm pretty sure I just saw Corey Schlesinger. I will gladly take that as a solid, solid fullback. You know, I feel like that does the least damage to my team. Let's freaking go. That does the least damage to my team if you really think about it. Because in the end of the end of the day, I wanted a card that I could use for a long haul of this year of Madden that I could have there for a while and have no issue with. And Corey Schlesinger is that guy. Because realistically, no matter who I got, he wasn't staying on the team, right? If I got a lineman, he would only stay at the partial because I didn't really want to get rid of Larry Allen and Bruce Matthews. I really just wanted Matt Burke or the outside tackles, which I would have loved. But at the end of the day, I wouldn't have kept them all year. Now, a fullback, I don't upgrade often. So I told you, a fullback and a kicker and defensive tackles are three of the best I would have preferred. I'm happy I didn't get a wide receiver. That would have pissed me off. Middle linebacker, I'm happy I didn't get them. No defensive ends, no defensive anything. I would have loved McAllister and all, but I will definitely take Slush and just go look at his stats in comparison. That's big. I'm really happy about that, actually. That was definitely a great reward right there. Let's go to newest and go check his stats out because I haven't really seen them properly, I guess you could say. Let's see. Compare. 
So he does sell for his full training value, which is really cool. So when I don't need him anymore, get my training for him and I'm done. I can check out with that. So compared to Patrick Ricard, he's faster, which is huge for pitches. He's just as strong, just about better awareness, better carrying, better catching, better run blocking, slightly worse lead blocking. That's no big deal. Better impact blocking. Let's see what his stiff arm is. I've been very interested to see what this guy's stiff arm is. No, no pass blocking. Let's see. Stiff arm. 74 stiff arm. I wish it was a little better. Impact blocking, like we said, is good. What's his lead block? Lead block, lead block, lead block. And he has an 88 lead block. I'm very excited about this card. It's like another lineman on the field. Very awesome. Going to really help my running game scheme, guys. But that is about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Hopefully, you guys are happy for me that I got a good pull, in my eyes at least. Comment down below what you guys did pull. I'd love to know and who you guys want to pull. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure to drop a sub. Make sure to turn on that noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Also, let's get this video to 250 likes. That'd be greatly appreciated if you got it. If you made it this far, like the video. And also, have a good day, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.